Hey guys, welcome back to your YouTube channel where we learn something new every day. So do you know how to use while when loop in VBA? If not, then you are at the right place. I got you covered. In this video, we are going to talk and learn about how to use while when loop. Coming up. Now, before we move on to our today's topic, if you are new on this channel and you want to keep learning and become an expert in VBA, we share a new video every day about VBA, something new. So consider subscribing to this channel. Moving back to our topic. Uh, so if you want to open VBA editor on your end, you can press Alt and F11. And if you don't have a module already, you can press insert and click on module. And so I already have a module which I'm going to use and I'll just show you the code. So what I basically want to do in this example is I have a range uh, entered as B33, right? And in the first case, I'm assigning a value of zero to B33. Then as you can see, I have written our code, which is while, right? So while range B33 dot value is less than 10, then what I want to do is range B33 dot value is equal to the existing value of that uh, range B33 and then plus one. So in the first case, when the loop will start running, what it will do is first it will make it as zero, but when the loop will start of while and when, in the first uh, loop, it will change the value of zero plus one. Okay, next time the value would be one, so it will do one plus one. And similarly, it will two plus one, three plus one, so it will move on. I'll now move on to my Excel to show you how this code is working. So you can see here, uh, B33 is the cell we are going to refer here. And I'll again uh, bring it up and keep it aside so you can see it. I'll be pressing F8 so you can see how this is changing, right? So you can see the zero is already assigned and now it has a added a plus one here. So uh, why the way I have set the condition here is that this will keep on running till this is less than 10, right? So if I again press F8, F8, it will keep on running. Now I'll press F5. And as you can see, it is stopped as soon as it's reached 10, right? So this way uh, you can use while when, but I'll also show you one more example, which we have also used in one of our previous video of do until loop or do while loop, right? So the way uh, you can use it is again, uh, I have uh, done a variable i as integer. Then I've assigned a value value of i as 35 because my cell is starting at 35 from where I want the values. So change it accordingly. Also, you can change i. You can give any other variable you want. So that's perfectly fine, right? I'll just zoom in on this code, right? So you can see a uh, variable is assigned uh, 35, and the same logic I've used uh, like while uh, b is not equal to blank, right? So then I want to move on till uh, next row. I mean, uh, yeah, so till the time it's not blank, I want it to move to the next row. And what I want to do in this row is before moving to the next one is multiply the value in b into 10. And that value will come in c and i, right? So b and i, like in the first case, it will be b35. And C and I in the first case it will be like C35, cell C35. So in cell C35, it will do B35 into 10, right? Let's uh, quickly look at the uh, how it's working. You will get more idea. I'll press F8 again, right? So you can see it has multiplied it by 10 and it's keep on working. It will work six times. And as soon as it will find a blank cell, it will end right 
So uh, that's it for this one. But this also brings us to the question of the day. If out of all the loops that we have discussed, the five one, like for next, for each loop, do while, do until, and while when, right? So which of the loops you feel are most useful to you or are going to be most useful for you? Let me know in comments. Thanks for checking out this video and subscribe and hit the bell icon if you have not done yet. Keep learning and keep growing. We'll speak to you soon. Goodbye.